Hey, everybody. <laughs> We're back again. Cool Prairie Ramblers. Back in the house. Uh-huh. School is in again. Yeah, School yeah. days. And that's spelled with D-A-Z and an E. And uh, <laughs> we've still got a lot of memories. But uh, one thing, I, a couple things I remember is, uh, back in our day, we knew what a globe was. I doubt you could probably find one in a school these days. And if you found one from back when we were in school, it wouldn't be correct as far as the countries and everything lining up like like it is today. So that, that'd be a rarity. But also, remember, we had them, them pull-down maps. There was a whole series of maps there. And you pull mm-hmm. one down, yep. there was another one behind it, mm-hmm. another one behind that or whatever. Yeah. And they used a chalkboard a lot. A chalkboard. And remember... They had they were, this thing that would hold about five pieces of chalk, and they would draw the lines across there. Yeah. yeah. You, you learn your writing on. Uh-huh. It represented the, your, your writing paper. And uh, one of my childhood fantasies and dreams never fulfilled was I always wanted to be one of the kids who was called upon to take the erasers outside and beat them on the side of the building. Oh, really? I wanted to do that so bad, I and I was never I called did. on to do that. I so did. That's a part of my childhood unfulfilled. So, wow. I wanted to be one of those kids. I've, I have been there. I've done that. I hated that. What about, uh, of course, in Octave and Hamburg? Were you ever anywhere else a school crossing guard? I was. Yes. I was a captain. He was a guard. A, oh, captain. a captain. Yeah. Holy. Captain, my captain. Oh, my goodness. Captain I, Mel. I, I, uh, we were. Uh, what did you have to do to rise to yeah, the rank? I just captain. got, a wa- uh, hey, I, I, I got to walk around to the different corners because we, we was in, uh, in, a, in the city. When yeah, I read that, boom, boom. it was uh, sixth grade in Dana Avenue School. Did you have the little oh, uh, yeah the orange and, belt with yeah, the, yeah? And I had was mine it with AAA ca- captain yeah <laughs> captain designation, and I would walk and a each, each and they station called you captain and make sure destination. Everything was going well, you know. Okay, everything's fine. He was Action Jackson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, there must have been like uh, five or six different locations, you know, because there was a lot of traffic around our school. Yeah. You remember how you folded that little belt up? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You now, could fold it up into a little, almost like a ball. Why don't they have them, Captain, mm-hmm. or Crossing Guard? Is it is a liability problem? Now you have uh, paid uh, adults. That's senior, right. Senior well, they, when I remember having them, they weren't taking us across the roads. <laughs> well, we we did. We we had our stick. Really? And we put a that stick. stick out there, and we stopped traffic, we and we no let people now. cross because wow. there was no stoplight. I can pretty much see why they quit doing that. I heard uh-huh. that. Yeah. Because, you know, you get a little kid you don't like. You. Mel, yeah. Was, <laughs> yeah. Mel was speaking softly and carrying a big stick. Yeah. Captain Jackson. Yeah. Oh, wow. I must have learned something really new today about you. And it seemed to me that, you know, the, all the tra- as much traffic as there was. I mean, Were you tested Columbus, for that or anything? T- the tryouts? Uh, did they, yeah, did you have to compete against other kids? No, they just took one look at me and said, he can do it. Just one look. Yeah. Did you, I, have, did you have like any kind of like scrambled eggs or – Captain's uh, bars? <laughs> I like, yeah, every morning I'd have scrambled eggs. There you go. Yeah, we had um, – I think it was in my – on the belt. It was designation on the belt. El Capitan. Or something like I that. think the badge itself. Yeah. Yeah. It well, was, it was flashing it was, his badge. It was badge. pretty cool. It was pretty cool. It was – it was status. We want to see Did, pictures uh, of that. Kids look up to you. Yeah, because I was the tallest kid in the class. Plus, he had a stick. <laughs> no, actually, <laughs> Carl Nall was taller than me. Carl Nall, and he ended up going to Vietnam, and getting killed. That'll teach you that he was yeah. too tall. Yeah, they picked him off. Yeah. Now, were you really? a school crossing guard, Luke? Before no. you came to Arcadia, I never was a school guard. Why crossing don't you guard. No, I've okay. seen him, but I remember being so poor. Well, not so poor. We were, we didn't have extra money, so we had to make our uh, book covers out of uh, uh, grocery bags. Mm-hmm. We'd cut them out and, did too. and make that. Yeah. But the, the advantage of that, you could decorate them like mm-hmm. you wanted. You weren't yeah. stuck with the, whatever design came you on. You had your They're slick own ones. Self made. You customize, and they all were yeah. different. Yeah. And I, I count that as a privilege, actually, even though we were mm-hmm. couldn't right. afford it. Well, you know, we we were, I guess, poor, but I never knew it until somebody told me. That's right. You said, What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> I'm poor. I'm poor. When you I was mean, a, we, don't have a, we don't have no I, money. I never missed a meal, yeah. but. Uh, and I, and I brown bagged it a lot. My, uh, I remember my schools having a great respect for the flag. Sure. I, uh, I had a, I was um, in, uh, in um, first grade, second grade, I don't know what grade it was. A- and uh, we were going to display the flag, and I don't know what holiday or what it was coming How up. How many stars were on it back then? <laughs> it would have been 49. There you go. It was back in when there were still 49 stars. Wow. And... Uh, 48. No, 48. Wait a minute. Goodness. Because we, which one came in first, Alaska or Hawaii? 
Which one was the last one? We we. I think I thought it was simul- or did it come in the same I time? thought it was simultaneous. Simultaneously, okay. So it was forty-eight stars on the flag then. Okay. So, but I remember my teacher and the teacher next door. They getting the books out and going through the books to make sure that they displayed the the flags right. Right, flag etiquette. Yeah. Right. A lot of people don't even know that. that, that oh, is. I remember. Yeah, when we took them down. You had to fold it up just mm-hmm. right. We did that yeah. in Boy Scout meetings. Yeah. Yeah, they, they were very concerned. And there's a difference when you fold a flag to present to someone that has passed away yeah. than folding a flag to put up for the night. Really? You know, the difference in the way the stripes oh, yeah. or the stars. Are yeah, I didn't know that. Shown. Yeah. But I've watched, I've, uh, and, well, I've, I've been to several funerals where I've watched them fold that, you know. And, well, yeah. if you ever notice, they unfold it. They don't start with a furled flag. Yeah. They start with a folded flag. They unfold it, and they fold it. I mean, they the first fold is the opposite of what it was. Yeah, it, yeah. it, it represents mm-hmm. something. I think that's to uh, allow people something, a, a visual, and to give them time to reflect right. on the flag and the importance of it, and somebody dying for that flag. That's why they're just walking up and saying, here's your flag. When I was in school, we didn't have President's Day. We had... Washington's birthday, we had Lincoln's birthday, and we celebrate, and we, we made a big them. deal about Washington. Yeah, you learned about him, about the cherry tree and all that. Yeah. Do you know how they killed him? Which one? Washington. how they kill him? Uh, they bloodletting. They bled him, they to, bled him to death. death. <laughs> so much for being the president <laughs> of the United States. And so did uh, Lincoln. He bled to death, too. Yeah. yeah. At, yeah. From a bullet. <laughs> From a bullet. Yeah. One thing sorely missing from today's school system that we all remember and probably were subjected to is corporal punishment. Yeah. If that would come back, I think it would make a difference. Yeah. And I, <coughs> we were proud of our corporal punishment. That's right. How many licks <laughs> did you get? But that's why you were a captain. Yeah. Because you didn't want to face corporal punishment. Oh, captain, my oh, captain. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, getting, a, getting a, 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 a lick, you know, a swat by such and such a teacher. It was a rite some, of passage. Some teachers had a status. And if you got a SWAT by that teacher, that was something. <laughs> Some of them had famous paddles, too, that people yeah. talked about. And uh-huh. remember you to this day. Uh-huh. You got, you I signed? didn't, but I've, I've been on the receiving yeah. end of it before. What about capital punishment? Should they bring that back to schools? Uh, capital punishment, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 high school was so rough that the, the new school newspaper had an obituary column. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was that tough <laughs> school. <laughs> That's a Dan Rather joke I stole. Yeah, they, uh, they, they, they used to search you for you went to school to see if you had a knife. And we and all told it If you didn't, yeah. they'd give you one. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. It'd help you survive. But yeah. every kid every kid I knew in Nocte especially had a knife. They yeah. might not have had shoes. On. They yeah. might have come barefoot, but you true. can bet your bottom dollar they a true, knife in their A knife was a necessity. Hey, don't laugh, people. This, this is a true story. Yeah. They, they had knives. Yes. Yeah. They, they may not have been dressed. To the and knife. some was barefoot. And they had good knives. Yeah. There were no cheap yeah. uh, a nice dive case store. Or a Barlow or something right. like that. Or a, a Queen Steel. One or of them a ca- Shrade. Yeah. And they, you, had, you had a good knife. But some of them was barefooted as a yard dog. Yeah. I, I do remember. I can name them, but I'm not going to. I, yeah. well, I had a friend uh, uh, I used to work with over in, uh, uh, he went to Manatee High School, mm-hmm. and he lived in uh, Palmetto, so he had had to walk across the bridge to go to Manatee High School, and uh, and he said he had shoes for school, but he didn't wear them. He, he carried them over his shoulders because he didn't want to wear them out, and he walked to school barefooted. Boy. And I wore, a lot of times, boots to school, and I'm not talking like you got on. Fancy dress boots. I'm not mm-hmm. talking about Zipper cowboy boots. Yeah. We wore a lace-up brogans. Brogans, yeah. work boots. And due, due to the fact that sometimes, as soon as I got home from school, I had to go do some chores or do something in the barn, and That's you didn't right. want to go out there and you pee at flyers. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, because you get some stuff on them. Right. School days, school days, dear old golden days. You can clean up days. those brogans. You can't clean up a pee flyers. Reading and writing and arithmetic. Talk to the tune of a hickory stick. You were my queen in calico. I was your bashful barefoot bow. Rode on my slate, I love you so. When we were a couple of kids. Okay, what's the one for leaving school? School's out, school's out. Teachers Teacher let the monkeys out. Yeah. One went east, one went uh-uh. west, one ran up the teacher's dress. Oh, Lord, I thought it was another brick in the wall. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. We've got time for the if bomb in a minute, so y'all come on back and we'll share that with you. All right.